I don't know how y'all do it, man. I do not know how y'all do it. Now, as you can see, this video up here, 2K screwed up. And instead of apologizing, they just took the VC from y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, let Brew talk about it. 2K before it, and 2K wiped everything. But basically, a lot of people got a lot of my team wiped completely clean because they did a certain glitch. Right. Now, what is the glitch? Now, what's the glitch? He gonna tell you that the glitch is the Paul George glitch. They got, they they had an opportunity where Paul George was low, buy low, and his sale price was high as fuck. I mean, I knew about it. I knew not to do it. I knew not to touch it. Like, you already know, like if you're not in the know or you're not, so, okay, if you're not a higher up in the community, it's not for you. They put this card on the market for someone, for certain people. I mean, I believe, I've been here long enough to believe somebody was supposed to take advantage of this. You know, just like in the stock market, insider trading, basically. You know what I'm saying? Like insider, insider business. And if you're not inside, then you don't touch the insider business, basically. But the wrong people figured it out just like every year. This, it happens every year. Every year is something. It just so happens that it had to go this way this year because they took out the player market. We don't have no, well, they got the player market now instead of the auction house. The auction house used to really be the stock market, but they cracked down, took that out for whatever reason. I don't, I didn't benefit. I mean, okay, I knew, I know the reason why they took it out. They took it out because people were selling MT. They had to get rid of all the MT sell sites buy cheap mt here you know what i mean get your mt here and they had to do away with that they had to it was no way if they was farming somebody was making millions off that joint i'm telling you it's, it's big business mt was big business so they took a hold of that and now they had to throw it out there a really easy way it was a really easy look for somebody to say oh look at this price and then once once too many people get wind of it they got to crack down you know what i'm saying but this card, this Paul George card right here was on the market like that for a reason. It was for someone to take advantage of specifically or a group of someone's specifically. Trust and believe that. I'm not dumb enough to think anything different, but let Brute break it down. Glitch y'all ax. No, this is where I actually had to do some research, but it seemed like it had a Paul George card, right? Where you could buy low right. and sell extremely high because 2K extremely high this card was man y'all y'all will laugh at it if you knew the specifics on them prices bro you'll laugh the wrong pricing on them so no one really did a glitch what they did was observe and see wait okay so if i buy they basically was smart enough to take advantage of what was on the market it didn't seem like i mean okay i went back and forth with it like it don't seem like you're doing anything wrong but the the differences was too large for me not to know common sense wise like this isn't for us we're not supposed to take advantage of this they made a mistake and they're gonna take all of your mt rvc they're gonna take your whole my team i thought they was gonna take people's whole accounts and i'm like nah they're gonna ban me because i got banned last year just for humbug on some humble so i figured they was gonna snatch whole accounts off this one like you making millions of mt they don't want they just stop people from making millions and millions folks was making millions of real in life real dollars real dollars and cents bro so i mean i just knew for sure like this not this not the wave i'm like i'm not touching that that I could sell it for that really high price. So I'm gonna keep doing this over and over again because from what I understand, they got a locking system. So once they didn't lock the card in, they could keep doing that unlimited. Once they got the time, they could do it until 2K changed the prices back, right? So that's where 2K was at fault, pretty much. What they did was put the wrong price in, which allowed people who actually play the game to make a massive profit no. a boatload boy i'm trying to Got it. i'm trying to tell you i remember what i said this is not the first time this happened so there was a set of people who was not really experienced 
in doing this in or right. in identifying okay. this and then taking advantage of it what they did was they bought the paul george card okay we sell them and just stack a bunch of my team points but the experienced people though they bought the What'd paul george card we sold them and with right. the my team points they went and bought all the expensive Boom. cards okay. in the game and they kept stacking them up because what okay, that made this that make a little bit more sense than than just buying paul george over and over i didn't think about that i didn't see that's why i don't do crime i'm not no criminal because i'm i'm small-minded and if i was to do the crime i only thought you i thought basically when i saw when i saw this the hiccup in the pricing i'm like oh you could probably do this once I didn't even know you could do it over and over and over again. So that's that part for, you know what I mean? But that's, that's deep. But look, be on the lookout for, I think if you would have did this once, if you would have bought him, sold him once, bought him again, you would have been straight. You're like, okay, I made a little, a little buck. I made a little VC, a little MT, but I mean, be smart enough to not get your account snatched or get your MT hacked or get your MT snatched because they do this every year for certain people, but it ain't for us. You know what I mean? And that's why I take my pride in just grinding the game, bro. Just go out here and grind. You don't have to, you don't have to cheat. It's some people that just take pride in cheating, period. They just feel a rush from cheating or doing crime and just don't. You don't have to be that way, kid. Let it go. You see me? I'm just sitting here grinding these games up, bro. I've been grinding these games up regular way. Just trying to get to it. You know, I'm trying to get to a little buck. Yeah, but uh, with a few more wins away, you know, we got 200 wins needed. About 206. We're going to have that, uh, that pink diamond Hakeem. Man, look, I'm going I'm to say it simple. If you did that Paul George glitch, you a bot. If you didn't see that coming, you a bot. You, you more bought it than people that didn't even understand what was going on. Like, that's bought it. That's bought it behavior. Don't be a bot, you know what I'm saying? Like, like they already cracking down on bullshit. But that was definitely a Christmas gift for someone or some group of developers to, to farm MT. I mean, they already cracked down and broke the market down so that nobody can make real money off of it no more like like folks want the auction house back but we're not getting the auction house back they figured out how to make sure they don't lose money and they're not about to lose no money again it ain't no way they you know what i mean this just in in response to everything that brew was actually saying in that video like like they're gonna leave they leave certain things on the market for a reason bro and certain stuff pop up for a reason it's not no coincidence that at christmas time this whole little fiasco pop up at christmas time that was somebody's christmas gift you know what i'm saying that was a way to get somebody their christmas wish and maybe a few people who was non-suspecting you know what i'm saying Maybe a few people who was on the humble that saw it, maybe a few thousand people see it and say, okay, boom. Or maybe a few hundred people see it, no telling what the numbers could be like. But they already cracked down on the auction house, you know what I mean? Because folks was making money hand over foot. Folks was making a helly money. I'm talking about good bucks. I'm talking about good God, hand over foot. You know how many websites it was selling MT? Folks with five Xboxes and five PlayStations sitting up, running, farming MT, farming VC. Bruh. Yeah, they want all their coins. They they not playing. We're not getting the auction house back. Y'all can guarantee I can guarantee you that. It's no way for them to make sure y'all don't pirate their stuff. So they just we can't have nice things. We got villains in the community and folks always want to make a buck and you know which i can't i can't say nothing bad about a nigga for wanting to make a buck you know what i mean boys want to make their money people was enterprising but 2k said and we not the ones y'all not about to dig in our pocket you know what i'm saying we losing billions of dollars because and that was probably a billion dollar industry because you beat cap i mean 2k is a billion dollar industry by itself 
So if you pirate in 2K, you, you stand and make hundreds of millions. That is just not true. It's, it's, it's cap, to be honest. Definitely, it stands to be a big operation. That's not no BS operation right there. But um, let's say, let's say you did get your account snatched. You can't be mad. Let's say they did take all your MC. You can't be mad. They already told you they cracking down and they don't want you pirating their stuff. So hey, what you know? What else? What else can you do? As a, as a multi-billion dollar business, what else can you do but say, we're not gonna let y'all have your hand in our pocket. Just pay us to play the game, have fun, be happy that we even make the game for you to play it. You know what I mean? That's really what they saying. So yeah, I mean, if you went ahead and you was messing around with Paul George, buying and selling and getting crafty to try to get the bucks, hey, all I can tell you is- So you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Like, subscribe, and be back when we be back. You gonna see it. I mean, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm not on either side. I know it'll never be fair for the people. It'll never be fair for the players. And it's always gonna benefit 2K because that's the way they build the game. It's their game. You know, I don't have to pick sides because I know everything happens for a reason. This didn't just happen out of nowhere. This didn't just come out of nowhere for Christmas. Somebody was supposed to get the game and get, they just do, they issue. They were supposed to, it was built for someone. This, this glitch, this mishap was made for somebody to get the MT right. I'm pretty sure. If not, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Hey, I could be wrong. We, we've been through this before. I could be wrong. I could be, I definitely could be wrong. But I know I'm not wrong. I know a group of folks were supposed to get their MT off. I know some new Christmas noobs were supposed to get their MT right. You can't tell me no different, bro. I mean, but as far as, you know, rumblings and we've been hearing things on Twitter, I'm hearing a lot on Twitter about bringing the auction house back for 25. It's not happening. You can count that out. I'm, if it happens, it happens. If it happens, I'll buy. I'll buy. I'll start playing my team first. I'll play my team on opening day. Twenty five for opening day. I'll play my team. I won't even touch my career. If they bring back the auction house, you can hold me to this. If they bring back the auction house, I will not touch my career next year. I'll play my team all year. I'll grind my team all year like call it what it is i call it spade a spade but i'm i'm 89 percent i'm 89.88 percent sure that they do not bring back no auction house i mean come on it's just they made too much money without it look what they doing without the auction house my team already a cash cow it's already their cash cow and has been for years running this my team right here these cards right here that people pull and pay for that don't want to grind the game don't have the time for the grind man look they make their cash off this bro so look go ahead and like this subscribe to me because we here talking about it what else you want to do you here you know what I mean? your booze mean nothing i've seen what makes you cheer